this is the case. They know this is going to happen to Americans. Get them out of there right now. They're doing nothing to stop it. Bring them home. Get them out of there. This is all, of course, in response to the United States and Israel bombing an Iranian embassy in Syria last week. Iran says very clearly this morning that we know the United States was behind the attack. Here's that press conference, and I will I will add my own voice over the transcription here. Listen. I would like to state with a loud voice that the U.S. is responsible for this incident and must be responsible for it. The Israel regime will be warned, they say, and the UN Security Council will be punished. The failure of the U.S. and two European countries to issue a statement on the violation of the Vienna Conventions and the attack on the Islamic Republic of Iran in Damascus is a sign of the green light of the United States to Israel for committing this crime. I emphasize again that the United States must be accountable for its behavior and support for the terrorist actions of the Israeli regime. Okay, I would just like to say that's not us, sir. We don't want that. That's our leaders. Yeah. I, I do not want to be attacked for that. I hate those assholes. Exactly. That's your CIA, and that's the Biden administration, which has fomented this, this, this decision. And they're going to let Americans sit at these bases and be used as target practice. That's treasonous. They know it's coming, and they've said it's coming, and it's going to happen. The Yemenis, meanwhile, have recruited another 200,000 new fighters since the start of the conflict. Shalom. First off, I want to start by saying all praises, honor, and glory is due unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, and Karkadash. It's all praises to the world cause God, whose true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh by Hashem, meaning in the name Yahweh Shai, being the name of the only begotten Son. Also, I want to say the honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And peace and mercy to the healthful like preaching, word and truth and sincerity. On the brother talks about the great millstone, Arizona camp, Lord will with another video to edify. And, um, I think I'll label this one. Uh, uh, probably the dragons of Arabia. Remember their old nature. Some of that line, but. They're talking about that they they've amassed an additional two hundred thousand troops out of nowhere. They're ready to go on the offensive. They're ready to sit here and have a response. And and this is all prophecy. The Lord is cooking this thing up. Twenty twenty four has been a has been a uh, <laughs> or not even a roller coaster, man. This thing has been a, a bullet train. Right? The amount of prophecies has just been kicking off. And I just wanted to touch on some of the prophecies. And this ain't going to be a long video. But I'm going to start off with this one. This is a Proverbs 21. And in one, it says, The king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh. As the rivers of water, as the rivers of water, he turned it whithersoever he will. You see? So that's what the Lord is doing. Because when you really go through the history of how Iran has actually dealt within, um, you know, the, what is it, joint, let me get it, man. It was like the joint proliferation of nuclear weapons, but, right, this was a treaty that was done between all these nations, including Iran, um, where they signed treaties that uh, they wouldn't be enriching uranium past a certain point, right? And when you go in to the history of that treaty, when you go into the history of that treaty, Iran really, uh, Iran really did everything in their power to abide by the treaty. They had hundreds of thousands of uh, they had the thousands actually thousands of uh check-ins from esau's uh, uh people to validate that they weren't enriching uranium and he then they let them in every time so iran was actually on the on the mindset of peace right they were they were trying to keep the peace but what the lord said that not only the Lord said for Russia that he was going to put hooks in his jaws, 
And part of that way that those hooks in the jaws is them fucking with their allies. And Iran, which is Persia in the scriptures, is one of Russia's allies, man. Now, Proverbs 21 and 2 says, Every way of man is right in his own eyes, but Yahweh will ponder the hearts. You see? So they thought they would really be able to, you know, stave off World War Three by... By simply, uh, you know, just trying to follow through with the plans and these treaties. But the Lord has a different plan. Because the Lord said what? He mustereth. This is um, Isaiah 13 and 4. It says, the noise of a multitude of mountains like of a great people. A tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. Yahweh hosts mustereth the host of the battle. The Lord is sitting there bringing all these armies together and, and, and making all this conflict pop up because but his, his determination let's get that this is Zephaniah 3 and 8 therefore wait ye upon me say Yahweh until the day that I rise up to the prey for my determination is to gather the, na the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms and this is just these provocations are are, uh, are are provocations to assemble the kingdoms, these nations together for this war, to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger, for the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy, because this is going to be for the controversy, right? Let's, let's get that. This is... um. Where's it at? Isaiah 34. And I started, uh, yeah, I'll go right to the point. You know what? You know, I'll jump around. Isaiah 34 and 1, it says, Come near ye nations to hear and hearken ye people. Let the earth hear and all that is therein, the world and all things that come forth, come forth of it, for the indignation of Yahweh is upon all 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 nations, and his fear upon all their armies. He had utterly destroyed them; he had delivered them to the slaughter. So this is what the Lord is preparing. Now I'm gonna jump down to verse eight, for it is a day of the of of Yahweh's vengeance. And the year of the recompense for the controversy of Zion. See, all this, all these conflicts between these nations, the Lord turning up the fire and, and, and putting everybody in a position to where they have to respond. That's 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 for the controversy of Zion. For all these nations had their hand on us and beat us down. They consulted with one consent, they you know, they consented with one consent, as it says in the scriptures. And now the Lord is is gearing this battle up. This is um, Second Ezra fifteen and uh, twenty nine. I started twenty eight. It says, "Behold, a horrible vision in the appearance thereof of the uh, from the east, where the nations of the dragons of Arabia shall come out with many chariots." And they said they were able to unmask an additional two hundred thousand troops. Now here it is, the the Islamic world, so called Islamic world. Is on fire right now be, between what they've been doing to Syria, what they've been doing in the, uh, in the Gaza Strip, what they've been doing with Iran, right? And uh, Israel's dusty, nasty hands have prompted <laughs> an entire uproar, which that's in the scriptures as well, because the scriptures say the least of the flocks are drawn to the battle, right? And now... This conflict is going into the next stage. And Lord will, it, it keeps intensifying. And it says, shall, it says, where the nations of the dragons of Arabia shall come out with many chairs, and the multitude of them shall be carried as the wind upon the earth, and they shall, it says, and they, and, and, and it says, uh, that all they which hear them may fear and tremble. Also, the, and you heard these, uh, the reporters, right? 
the angers of the show, the husband and wife team, they sat there and said, that's not us. Trying to absolve themselves of, of, of that judgment that's going to come. It says, also the Carmenians raging in wrath shall go forth as wild boars of the wood with great power. Uh, shall they come and join battle with them and, and shall lace and shall waste a portion of the land of, of the Assyrians, right? And now they're worried about them hitting all these military bases, these United States military bases that are active military people on it. Not like it's been for years where they just hit a base and maybe one person gets injured. There's no casualties. They, nah, it's it, it, now they're going to start going for numbers. And at some point, it, the, the battle is going to turn... Uh, Turn to the American home front. This is Isaiah uh, 13. And 17 it says. Behold I will stir up the Medes against them. Which shall not regard silver. And as for gold they shall not delight in it. And that the Lord is getting. That the Medes. Are them. The. the, the uh, not Arabic. But. um, The Medes are the Iranians. The Persian and the Medes. So that's that's what we're seeing. They're getting the Lord steering them up, giving them a reason to fight. Right? And uh this battle uh, well is going to go into the next stage. It's uh, Jeremiah 51 and 11. I'll end it on this one. It says, make bright the arrows. Gather the shields. Yahweh have raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes. For his device is against Babylon to destroy it. Because it is the vengeance of Yahweh, the vengeance of his temple. You see? So the Lord is the the, the, the battle is the Lord is steering this whole thing up, man. And and, and it's gonna get keep intensifying because we're in those days. Right? But we still got to wait. It's not going to come to its perfection until Jacob's trouble comes. Right? And it's full and it's full force. And Lord will, we be worthy to stay in his faith, man. But Lord willing, this is edifying. I'm going to say, call Allah, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Krakadash. Shalom, Makil.